Economic Development Project in Anderson County hit a 10-year milestone today as they take the next step in developing 48 miles of the Blue Way right along the Saluda River. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford joins us live from the river with how this hidden gem is connecting the communities. Look at you, Nicole. Hey, Amy. Well, more people are heading to the upstate to experience outdoor adventures like kayaking, but the area grows. Anderson County is working to capitalize on the Saluda River by adding more ADA compliant kayak launches like this one. And as of this morning, there's plans in place to connect another town to this 48 mile project. Nestled on the eastern edge of Anderson County is Belton, full of small businesses and warm hearts. This town is working to grow. Bring people to Belton to come to eat, maybe to move, to live. With these shovels, the mayor believes they're turning the corner for economic growth. Be a kayak landing, fishing pier, picnic area, just all around recreational area. It all starts with capitalizing on what they already have. The Saluda River is an untapped resource to connect all the cities along the border of Anderson County. And by that, the city of Belton, though it's not actually on the river, the fact that it has, owns properties allowing the city of Belton to be a part of the Riverside community. This new trailhead and launch point is adding on to a 10 year project in Anderson County. Starting at Dolly Cooper Park, an ADA kayak launch has attracted more people to use the water. We've even seen interest grow where we're attracting people from California, Florida, Connecticut, uh, New York, Virginia, Maryland, so states outside. So this this corridor in South Carolina, in upstate South Carolina, is regionally significant. Downriver in Piedmont and Pelzer, the growth of the Blue Way is spurring new developments along the riverbanks, bringing new money into these old mill towns. The new Belton Landing just opens another seven miles to these opportunities as they work to connect six sectors, totaling 48 miles of waterway. I talked to a lot of people and they've asked me daily, when's it going to start? When are we going to get ready? When's it going to be finished? They're very excited. Now, when the kayak launch is complete, it will look very similar to this one in Pelzer. Then they just have to pave some parking before they're complete. They're hoping to have it all done by spring of 2020. We're live in Anderson County, Nicole Ford, 7 News. Thank you, Nicole. The cost of the launch and park area at the trailhead will largely be funded by grants from Duke Energy and the South Carolina Parks and Recreation Program. It all totals about $135,000.